If you're a metal roofing contractor or you're looking to get in the business, one of the best ways that you can improve your efficiency and control of your manufacturing is by purchasing a roof panel roll forming machine. In today's video, we're gonna look at six reasons why you should think about buying a roll forming machine right now. What's up guys, welcome to Q&A Mondays, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel, I'm Thad Barnett. All the things we're gonna be talking about today are in the description down below. You can jump ahead using those quick links and there is a blog article right now, sheffieldmetals.com, covering this exact topic, so check that out as well. Today I have Tom Laird from New Tech Machinery back with me. Tom, thanks for being here. Well, I'm glad to be here, Thad. Thanks for inviting me. Absolutely, and New Tech Machinery uh, make some of the best portable roll forming machines out there. You can check them out as well. Um, and he's going to be able to uh, answer a lot of our questions that we have about purchasing this kind of machinery for your business. So let's start right now with, with number one. The first reason why you should consider buying a roll forming machine is that you want to take control of your own panel production. Tom, why is this important for a metal roofing contractor? Well, I, I think it, there's a, a few things that come into play there. Uh, first off is uh, kind of the whole concept of metal roofing on demand. Uh, the thing that we hear often from our customers is that uh, there'll be delays from their factory suppliers. Um, if they need a specific color, a specific panel profile, they might have to wait several weeks, maybe even months before that, that specific profile with that color is going to be available to them. By having your own machine, it, it eliminates that from the, the equation. You go to your coil supplier, such as the Sheffield Metals, and you purchase the coil in the color and the width that you need, and then you're able to produce your panels right on site. And it sounds like, you know, that gives you a lot of control over your inventory with colors that you want to produce and profile options too. Sometimes you're at the mercy of whatever that manufacturer has available. Absolutely. And these, these uh, implant panel manufacturers or suppliers, you know, a lot of times for them to do a changeover on their machine, their machines are going to be much larger machines. Uh, changeovers can take sometimes a day or two days. And uh, they might have so many orders for a specific panel profile that they're going to complete running those before they, they change over into the profile that you might need. Having a portable roll former such as an SSQ2, where the changeover time has been shrunken down to less than an hour, one guy can do it by himself. It allows you more flexibility in the, the uh, types of panels and the types of jobs that you can take, so. Yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking if, if we ordered a ton of panels right at the beginning of the job to cover the, the house or building or whatever, and we get down to the end of the stack and hey, we're short one 10 foot panel, what are we gonna do, you know? And then we gotta call, get, the, get them to put our tooling back in, run that panel out, ship it. Who knows how long that's gonna take? Absolutely. I hear that all the time. Uh, that's that's a question and or a comment that uh, is regularly heard by our uh, sales staff. And uh, that's the beauty of uh, having your own roll forming machine is that, uh, <clears throat> you know, measuring can be an inexact science. What happens if the, the supplier supplies everything two inches short? Every panel comes out two inches short because of a mismeasurement on the site. By having a roll former there, you're going to eliminate those issues and you're going to make sure you can get whatever you need when you need it. Another second reason why, you know, you might want to purchase a roll forming machine is for financial reasons. If you want to add an asset to your business, um, there's there's tax incentives for this uh, equipment. Talk to me about that um, factor of this equation, Tom. Sure. Uh, the IRS offers the Section 179 deduction. It's a deduction that uh, allows you to write off your equipment in the same year you purchase it. And uh, it, it's an incentive for businesses to invest in their business. And if you're in the metal roofing business, what better investment can you make in your company than a, a roll former that's going to increase your profitability? It's going to increase your, your speed to job. Um, it's going to increase your efficiencies. By allowing you to do that and writing off the machine, it's a, it's a significant tax savings. It can be a 35% savings or possibly more. Um, I will always recommend checking with your accountant to see what your uh, tax liability and your tax savings will be. But um, certainly the government assists us in the uh, manufacturing community and in the construction community in order to help grow your business and, and get you the latest and greatest equipment. And you know, Adam Mazzella has said on this channel before that you know, if your accountant comes to you and they want you to add an asset to your business before the end of the year, a lot of guys will think of a truck. 
you know, adding a truck to their fleet because they got to spend that money. Uh, but how much more beneficial would it be to add like a roll forming machine? And you're, you're going to have all that uh, flexibility to add it to your business. Yeah, that, that's a great point, Thad. And, and you know, I, I talk to customers about that quite often. You know, a, a truck's a major investment. The second you drive that truck off the lot, it's going to lose a significant amount of value. Whereas a portable roll forming machine is not only going to make your business money and continue to do so for years and years, at the end of its life with your company, chances are if that machine's been taken care of well, you're going to recoup a substantial amount of your original investment when you sell it. So it's a win-win, really, no doubt. Let's move on to reason number three, and that is when you're starting a brand new metal roofing contracting business. Talk to me about some experience you've had of you know selling equipment to brand new business owners. One of the things that we'll ask as a sales team at New Tech is uh, what type of business you're getting into. Is it going to be residential? Is it going to be commercial? Are you going to do a mix of both? Where do you see your business now? Where do you see it in one to three years? Where do you see it in five years or more? You know, these are things that new business owners need to take into account to make sure that they get a machine that's not only going to service their needs today, but it's going to be able to grow with their business as they grow. Uh, we offer a full line of roll forming equipment from a, the smallest machine, our SSR MultiPro Junior, which is a, a residential machine. It's guys that dabble in metal roofing, maybe do one to two metal roofs a month, all the way up to our SSH and SSQ2 machines, which are light commercial and residential machines as, that can produce multiple types of profiles in various widths, various gauges, and very fast speeds as well. So, you know, it's, it's important to know where you want to take your business to make sure that you get a machine that's going to be able to grow with you. Plus, you know, construction demand has held solid over the last couple of years and commercial is going to continue that um, and residential as well. And, and, you know, we've really seen metal roofing specifically just explode in the marketplace and really is gaining market share every single year. So it's a great business to get into. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we're seeing a sustained growth of about 2% per year in, in metal roofing. So and when you look at the, the numbers that we're still only 15% of the market, the full market share right now. So there's tons of room for growth. And the fact that you're using a material that's recyclable, that's environmentally friendly, it, it's a win win for your customers. It's stronger. It's the last roof you'll probably ever put on your business or your home. It offers great curb appeal. It offers function, form, and uh, sustainability. All right. Reason number four why you might want to purchase a roof panel machine is a chop and drop operation. Tom, tell me what that is and what that means. A uh, chop and drop operation is uh, someone that purchases the machine. And while they may want to use it in their own business as well for their own metal roofing installation projects, they can take the machine around to uh, other metal roofing businesses and, and just run the panels for those customers on site. It's a, a viable alternative to just using it for your own business. And it also offers your competitors or offers other metal roofers in the region a, a quicker source for getting the panels that they need and probably at a reduced cost and at, you know at a faster turnaround time. So uh, chop and drop is certainly something that is grown in popularity over the last 10 years and we'll continue to see growth with that market. So, And because the new tech machines are portable or if you're looking at a portable roll forming machine, you can take it to the job site and avoid, and avoid those shipping charges, the panel potential panel damage that could come from shipping. You're roll forming it right on site for someone else to install um, and you, you're just taking care of that part of the operation. Exactly, Thad. It's a, it's a, a situation where um, you know, so often we hear about customers that are purchasing panels from factory suppliers that show up freight damage, the wrong color, the wrong lengths, and also the limited lengths that you can produce by uh, shipping them. Whereas if you have a portable roll former that you can take onto your job site, you can run the, the panel as long as you've got metal feeding into it. So I've heard of customers literally running 300 foot long panels for jobs before. So Reason number five is that you want to grow your business or take on more or larger projects, maybe commercial work, something like that. Talk to us about that and expanding someone's business. If you've been a residential roofer for years, um, chances are there's opportunities that might be available to you to grow into more commercial work. 
And when you get into commercial work, uh, there, there's a little bit of higher demand for metal roofing, depending on the region of the country that you're in. But uh, when, when you get into commercial work, there'll be low slope commercial metal profiles, such as a two inch mechanical seam, a one and three quarter inch snap lock panel, a trapezoid profile. There's gonna be demand for those types of products. And by having a machine that is capable of producing all of those within the same machine, it's gonna offer you uh, a reduced cost. It's gonna offer you more versatility and it's gonna give you a foothold into a new market that uh, you can grow your business with. Absolutely. I mean, you know, you can reduce lead times that, that you offer to your customers by role forming your own panels. You're not at the mercy of someone else. Um, all you have to do is, is get the coil for that project, um, those accessories, and you're ready to roll. A lot of our customers, uh, they love having the flexibility of a machine that can produce multiple profiles. Our SSQ2 machine is capable of producing up to 15 different panel profiles. So most customers will get that machine with one to three profiles knowing what's going to be popular in their region, but they have the ability, if a potential customer comes to them and says, hey, can you run X panel for me? And they don't currently have it. They know that at a substantially reduced cost over buying a new machine, they can go buy that panel profile, put it inside their machine in less than an hour and be able to help that customer out and increase the scope of their business too. So. Yeah, there's a panel manufacturer in Florida named Joe Keen who uh, has an SSQ and he ran a uh, inch and a half um, fastener flange in the morning, put an inch and a half mechanical seam, ran that in the afternoon. And then when they got back to the shop, put in a third profile ready to run the next day. So that's three profile changes in one day. And that's a lot of flexibility. Absolutely. And, and Joe's been a long time, great customer of ours. And they literally run millions of linear feet through their machines have great success with it and are kind of a, you know, a testimonial to what someone could do with this equipment if they, if they know how to run their business properly and they, they can keep their uh, machine busy and keep their uh, crew busy as well. So. And lastly, there's a, there's a host of other reasons that we could talk about. And, and you mentioned it, longer panel lengths, because you're not going to ship uh, panels that are longer than what the truck can handle. Um, your business is looking to be more sustainable. You know, maybe you're a shingle uh, installer and you're looking to switch over to metal a product that's fully recyclable. Can you talk to us about those kind of things? You know, as we mentioned a little earlier, uh, the recyclability, the sustainability, the uh, the longevity of, of what a uh, metal roof can offer you. Um, yes, there's a substantial increased cost up front, but over the lifetime of that roof, it's probably going to be a savings over an asphalt shingle roof or a cedar shake roof or uh, a tar roof um, in, a, in a low slope application. Um, those roofs are gonna require quite a bit more maintenance than a, a standing seam type of roof that's going to have hidden fasteners, you have less leaking problems, paint finishes that come on the, the coils today are uh, substantially better than they were even 10 years ago. So the, the paint finishes have great warranties when you deal with companies such as the Sheffield Metals that are going to back you and to offer you testing in addition to the, uh, the paint finish warranties that they have. And the fact that uh, you have a reduced carbon footprint, uh, you're, you know, you have a material that's 100% recyclable. When they tear off asphalt shingles, where do they end up? In a landfill. Uh, the metal's fully recyclable. You're, you're taking a machine that can run off gas or electric power. It's a machine that, that is more compact, more efficient, and allows you to, as we mentioned earlier, to, to run metal roofing on demand. So um, there are just so many advantages to having it. Did we miss anything? You know, something that you would say, hey, if you're considering a roof panel machine um, for your business, you should get it right now. What, what would you say? Of course, I'm in sales. I want everyone to have a machine. I want uh, one of our machines in every street corner. But I think there are some things that, some caveats that people need to think about before they just jump in and purchase a machine. Do they have enough business to sustain the work to keep a machine busy? Do they have a crew available that's going to be able to install the metal roofing as they land more projects by having a machine? Do they have someone on their staff that's going to be capable of servicing the machine when it needs service? Because as we all know, whether you own a car or any piece of mechanical equipment, there's going to be some level of service required, whether that's uh, just general maintenance or uh, somebody accidentally runs a screw through the machine and a roller has to be changed out. One thing that we do as a sales team at New Tech is to qualify our customers to make sure that 
they understand what they're getting into. Um, again, the machine's going to pay itself off many times over if you're using it properly and you have the work lined up for it. But if you buy it and you're afraid to take the cover off and to turn a screw, if, if a panel's going uphill or downhill or, you know, isn't quite in super adjustment, then, uh, you know, maybe owning a machine is not the right thing for you. So we always want to make sure that customers are well-informed and well-engaged to make sure that getting a, a machine is going to be the right option for them. Awesome. Yeah, well, I appreciate the transparency, Tom. That's absolutely so important. You don't want to get in over your head or own a machine that is just going to sit and collect dust for sure. So if you have any other questions, you know, reach out to Sheffield Metals, reach out to New Tech Machinery. Love to answer those questions for you or comment down below as well. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel for more. Thank you, Tom, so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Thad. Thanks for having me anytime. Absolutely. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.